super phony. So these two are from Bunner's Bakery. And I believe this one was called uh, Movie Theater. And the other one I completely forgot, but they both look absolutely delicious. And you see that chocolate at the bottom. Oh my god, I'm going to devour these. This outside part is kind of sweet. This part is really good actually. Like it's it goes well together with sweet and salty. And then we have this one, which is a jalapeno popper. This is actually a stuffed jalapeno with uh, being fried. And it's stuffed with vegan cheese, of course. Everything's vegan. And then this is the same version of the first one except chipotle flavored instead of sweet but it's not really that spicy um, the jalapeno popper however is spicy so since I have these leftovers from the day before at the vegetarian food festival I'm going to dip it in this just to be even more delicious so let's try this first regular sweet and salty So overall today I had lots of fun at the Vegetarian Food Festival and it was awesome and I went to a bunch of the shows that they had. Um, I was however late for the show uh, with Candace Hutchings aka the Edgy Veg and you know I was late by just a few minutes and you know if I got there like sooner I would have been able to see her which would have been really awesome um, but I guess I'll have to wait for Buffer Festival um, but yeah it was pretty cool uh, I was there pretty much all day and you know I tried a lot of stuff and it was really awesome and I walked around a lot and I got a lot of exercise and I think the only time I ever you know don't pay attention to Pokemon Go is when I'm at a vegan event because everything at the vegan events are like so like oh my god I want to try that oh my god I want to try that oh my god I want to try that and then you know I have no time to pay attention to Pokemon Go so there you go if you want to be surprised and you know want a distraction from Pokemon Go go to a vegan event because you know being vegan is awesome and delicious especially at those events they have the most delicious things ever and come on you gotta be a fruit bat I would definitely recommend going to one of these vegan events because, you know, or all of them, <laughs> because they're awesome and you get to try so many things and, you know, it's so awesome and, like, I probably gain, like, 10 pounds every time I go to one of these events because I eat so much and, like, I try so many different things even if I tried it before because it's absolutely everything is delicious and so it's addictive because it's so delicious. So. If you like delicious things, if you like learning new things and be surprised in a good way, then definitely go to any vegan event. Go to as many as you want, at least one, and enjoy yourself because these things are fun. And you know, 
Honestly, vegans are hilarious. If you don't, like, see that, then there's something crazy. A lot of vegans are vegan because they want to share love with the world and they want to promote love. So, you know, you're gonna go to these events and even if you eat meat and you're not gonna, you know, change, they're gonna be nice about it. Even if you tell them you're not gonna change, they're still gonna be nice about it and be like, hey, try this, it's yummy, doesn't matter if it's dairy or meat or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Still try this because you might find something that you like instead of something else. So, you know, it never hurts to try something delicious. And if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's mandatory. Love you guys. Bye. Poop that.